a Sunday embargo today, uh, which will be at 10.30 Saturday evening. So we'll call that halfway through. Um, questions to the mic, please. Um, show of hands for those microphones would be great. Pep, good afternoon. Ben Ransom from Sky Sports News. Um, you told us in the week after the game, obviously, that you didn't know the severity of Edison's injury. Do you have a better idea now whether he will be able to play at the weekend? He's not able to play tomorrow. Do you know how long he's going to be out for? I don't know. Tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday, cannot play. How much weaker does that make you as a team without Edison? We have another top keeper. But Edison plays, he starts a lot of attacks as much as anything, doesn't he? What, is it, what do you miss when you don't Claudio have Claudio Rabe can do it too. You're very confident. Of course. Um, we won the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup the last one, thanks to Claudio. So, he's an exceptional keeper, won the, a lot of games with the national, international, with, Chile, with his national team with Chile. So, no doubts. It's turning into a great sporting rivalry, this, between Liverpool and Manchester City. Jurgen Klopp has said t t this week that he regrets perhaps some of the things that you've said between yourselves over the last week and has just tried to play down that rivalry personally between you I explain, Do you agree with that? I explained in Italy. It was enough. And just finally from me, um, Merseyside Police have been made aware of a post on social media calling for Liverpool fans to give you a Champions League-style welcome to your bus. Do you have any concerns about that? No, hopefully that will not happen again. So the police knew it in the Champions League game before. They didn't do anything. And I don't know what they are going, not, they are going to do. Uh, hopefully it will be an incredible game in Anfield and... For the Premier League, for all around the world, that is what we want. And hopefully it's not going to happen the same that happened uh, two seasons ago when we arrived, that just was more than one bottle. Pep, how would you describe what it's like going to Anfield as the away team and what makes it so difficult to win there? Because it's the... When, for me as a manager, I said... Uh, Last season when we won the league, we won the Premier League. It's the best contender I ever faced in my career to win this league. That's what was the biggest achievement or one, one of the biggest achievements we achieved as a, as, a, as a club or as a person we were there and it remains the same. So probably right now is the strongest team in the world and in a way playing in Anfield, you know, how does it mean for, uh, for them, for all the ri rivals, but it's 90 minutes or 94, and we're going to try to to follow the plan we thought uh, in this game. Jürgen has said today that you have made a proper impact at Manchester City. How would you sum up the impact that he's had at Liverpool? Well, it's you know, it's see his team and realize he did it in Dortmund and he did it here. So it's easy to to analyze how huge was the impact and uh, when he took uh, took over the team like was not you know real contender the history yes but not real contender to win the Premier League or so being on top and, and and he did it in three four years he built something marvelous to watch Pep Simon Stone BBC when when you first came to England everybody spoke about Jose Mourinho being your rival, but obviously you'd you'd worked at Bayern yeah. when Klopp was at Dortmund. Did you suspect that that's where the big challenge would come from from a Klopp team managed uh, from a Liverpool team managed? When by I Klopp? came here, I never thought about which is my rival or which which manager I have to face or uh, on the pitch in the press conference. This is never was one concern in my career as a manager. Never. So I arrived here and I was enough concerned to do what I have to do to build a team or, or to make them play good and compete for the titles in the next year. So that was my concern. And after some time you have a rival in first season was Antonio Conte in Chelsea, that we won the Premier League and after was another one. And of course the last ones we grew up as a team, Liverpool as well. So. And maybe next season will be another one. So I, I don't know, honestly. But when I am concerned, I was concerned all the time. Is about about my team to to get him better. 
Do you, because people always talked about Ferguson and Wenger and built that rivalry up, do you see the same things with Jürgen? Well, I will wait if my hair grow in the next 20 years because they were 20, more than 20 years together and we were, it's my fourth season here. So I think we cannot compare anyone with the rivalries in Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger because they are absolutely legends in their own clubs and they were more than one decade, two decades there. So it's a short time. Hi Pep, I'm Jerry Jacks from The Guardian. If you lose this game on Sunday, you'll be nine points behind Liverpool. Is that your title defence over? Nine points? I don't know. It would happen if we win the game. I don't know, honestly. I think in November it's never end. That is my point. I know it's going to happen if we lose. It's, it will be over, but I think we have a lot of games still to play. A lot. The experience in the sport is until the end you, you have to fight. That is what I want, fight until the end next Sunday. And all the games we're going to play. And after that, I don't know. It's the same. We're going to win the Champions League. Your favourite question to me. So I don't have an answer. Are you going to win it? I don't have an answer. No. <laughs> I don't have the answer. So I'm sorry. So it's the same. I don't know. It will be over. It will be more difficult, of course. If you see one team like Liverpool, they lost one game last season and this season isn't beaten. So you can imagine or can think they are not going to lose many games. But the season is long, a lot of games. And uh, a lot of situations can happen, so I, I don't know. Going back to Claudio, you did replace him in your team with Edison. So what makes you so confident that he can start a game at uh, Anfield and do well for you? I mean, he hasn't started a Premier League game for over, I think it's about a year and a half, and that game was a dead game at Southampton when you were champions already. Yeah, but why should why should not be confident with my players on my team? So why you ask these kind of questions about you have doubts because the player who play regularly don't play? So I would not like to be a football player and my manager doubt about me because he I saw him every day in training session and how fight and how good keeper it is. So we are not going to lose from Claudio. So. <laughs> Uh, the, the red card from last day in Atalanta is because we lost the ball in the situation in dangerous position. So you, you have to respect this guy has 33, 34 years old, all career in a top incredible level. He won the Copa America, and I would like in other countries to win the you know the European Cups. So respect that guy. He's incredible, top top keeper. And the first season when he was a little bit struggling for the new league, for the Premier League, and come here. It's because the team was not in the top level, no good. And all the problem was not cloud. It's easy to point, this, this is the problem, this is the problem. So it's, it's a group, it's a team, and sometimes make a good safer, sometimes not. The same with Eddie. Sometimes make a good save, sometimes don't. But why should not have confidence with one player of my team? So we'll not be here. I took a decision in the first season, in the second one, I was able in the past to buy a player for a lot of money, and the second season was out. So the older players are in our squad is because we have incredible confidence with them. Even the players don't play regularly. A lot of confidence. And now the problem they have with our many, many injuries. So we need all the squad to do the, this effort. Uh, hi, Pep. David McDonald from the Daily Mirror. Um, your team has been accused of tactical fouling by more than one boss. Um, <coughs> Pellegrini, uh, Mourinho, Solskjaer and now Klopp. Is that a fair criticism of your team? Is that a valid criticism or a valid charge to level at your players? And, and how do you feel about that? I said in Italy, no comment. But, do you, but the, the, there must be a motivation for your rival managers. It's not just one manager who has said that. There must be a perception amongst several As bosses. to the managers, to the, to the concept, as to the players, what is my argument to tell them when mm. I prepare a game about what we have to do. Sometimes we are late, sometimes. So no comment. So I know what exactly what I said to my players in the last 11 years about what do you have to do. I know exactly. Do so you have no concerns about? I answer my question, my friend. Hi, Pep. Sergio's got 13 goals for you this season. He's actually scoring at a, a faster rate than ever before. What do you think is his secret behind his kind of? continuity. I said he was born scoring goals and he will die scoring goals. So he has his talent there in that position. So we have incredible two strikers. He split the minutes out of them. So it's quite similar the minutes they play all together. So it's it's an exceptional player. 
And do you think in terms of Gabriel Jesus' impact here, he's actually spurred Sergio on to be a, a more consistent, harder worker? I don't have any, any complaints about Sergio with or without uh, Gabriel in the squad, you know, to play to play with uh, with us. Uh, so always was good the behavior from from Sergio. So he has own qualities different from from Gabriel, but I'm so delighted both of them. Hi Pep, uh, I know we talk a lot about Raheem and, and his development here. Against Liverpool, though, that's generally been a game where he hasn't really performed. Do you do you notice in him a difference ahead of these games? Is this kind of like the final barrier for him? If we're able to play good as a team, he will increase his per individual performance. Individual performance without the help of the team, it doesn't work. So we have to try to to help him and, and all the other players to, to, to be as a group and a team good and after we'll increase what they are. As have individual been, in the game. Have you been happy with his performances in those games against Liverpool, though? Because obviously we see not against Liverpool, he tends I'm, to just score all the I'm time. so simple to analyse my prayers. It depends of how they try to do and the efforts they try to do. Uh, I don't see one player play bad. Normally when the team play good, everybody plays play, play good. We are not a team like for one player himself can make a big, big difference in our team if dribbling four <coughs> players in a score a goal. So we don't have this type of players. So that's why we have to, to, to do it as a team. And when that's happened, every player will be better. Uh, Jürgen said that last year you paid him the ultimate compliment in that game at Anfield by changing the way you play. Now you've said to us almost on a weekly basis that you won't change, you're, you're always the same. Is he right by saying that maybe you, you compromise the way you, you, your, your usual attacking style? No, sometimes you want to play in that way when the opponents are so good as Liverpool, you have to adapt a little bit. In our idea there, it was completely different than what's happened. But if the point of how Jürgen said you were so defensive, I was more defensive when Bayern Munich when I went to Dortmund when we won 0-3, 1-3 there, or 1-2. That was incredible defensive. And we won because we made two or three actions for the counter-attack. The plan from Lanfield last season was not like this. It's just a little bit, let them play maybe the first step but push and try to play as always. Maybe we didn't want a game like up and downs and up and downs and up and downs, like Liverpool as unstoppable in many senses, but especially in this sense. But the people forget that sometimes you cannot do it because we play against the champion from Europe. And when you play against the champion of Europe, sometimes you have to adapt and you have to recognize you didn't expect to do that. But uh, if he's happy with that, so, so well done. Be defensive again on I, I don't know. I don't know, but you didn't understand my answer. The defensive again, it was not the plan. You know, I understand. Maybe I have to explain again. No, it's because they were so good. So you know, and they play in that situation and push me down. So tomorrow is going to happen. We're not going to play any minutes there because they they had a, an exceptional team. So sometimes you have to defend deep, and sometimes you cannot make a build up like usual because they are incredible, well organized. They do absolutely everything well. Everything. So the, you see the team. So oh, what is the weak point from Liverpool? It's difficult to find it. It's so difficult. So, but we have an uh, idea. The way you're going to play, we're going to try. Pep, is, is is Anfield the most difficult stadium to go to? And if so, why is that the case? Because they are an exceptional team. But in terms of the stadium as well, the, well, the atmosphere, of, yeah, the make fans. Influence, yeah, of course. Of course, history is for, for itself. Of course, it's something special, but it's, I think, more for the quality of the, the team, of what they do, and the quality for the players they have, for the quality of the manager they have. I think, I believe more in that in one team than the a scenario. So, right now, is one of the toughest ones. So, I would say right now in Europe is the toughest stadium to go there. Yeah. Uh, but, but with the atmosphere as well, does that bother you? Does that affect you? I love it. I like it. Yeah. I don't like when, you know, what happened in the bus out of the stadium. I don't like it. But in the stadium, when they are there, support the team is, is perfect. It's lovely. So that's why we are involved in this business, you know, to live this kind of experiences in this kind of stadiums. But I think the quality of they have is that, but especially, especially for the, 
um, for the quality they have. You know, if you play high, they make a movement, runs in behind. They are so fast when we defend deep, attack a lot of players. And Alexander and Arnold and, and Robertson, incredible crosses, good headers in the box, second balls. They are incredible backwards, set pieces. So it's 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 a real complete team. That that is the phase. I said in Italy. So as a, as a club, as an organization, as a team, as a manager, as a players, we need this kind of rival after win back to back. We need this kind of a rival to put it another step forward to understand okay that is the rival you have to face you know in the hopefully in the next years and you have to work harder and and, and take the as best right decisions as possible so that is what it is okay so